Hello, so can you solve such an amazing maths Olympiad question? So worry no more. I will take you step by step on how to solve it. So let's now start with the solution. So make sure you watch this video up to the end. So now our solution. So we have 4 to the power of A. Then plus 4 to the power of A is equals to 96. So how do you go about this maths problem? So the first thing that we need to do, we need to factorize 4 to the power of A plus 4 to the power of A. So this one can also be written as 4 to the power of A into bracket 1 add to 1 is equals to 96 so from there now we shall now work out the number that is inside the bracket so now we shall have 4 to the power of a so into bracket 1 plus 1 is 2 is equals to 96 so from there now we shall divide both sides by 2 here by 2 so here now we shall have 2 by 2 so that now we shall have 4 to the power of a so from here now we shall say that now we shall have 4 to the power of a is equals to so 2 here once, 2 goes into 96, 48 times. So now that one is, is equals to 48. So still you are having 4 to the power of A. So the best thing that we need to do is to introduce the log from both sides. So now we shall have the log of 4 to the power of A. Then this one now is equals to the log of 48. So here now we know that when you have the log of P, to the power of m this one can also be written as m the log of p so that is to mean now we shall have the log of 4 to the power of a can also be written as a the log of 4 is equals to the log of 48 so from there now we shall divide both sides by the log of 4 so this side also by the log of 4 so log 4 and log 4 shall cancel each other so now in this case our a shall now be equals to the log of 48 all over the log of, of 4. So here we can still simplify this by now saying that our value for a is equals to, so we shall have the log of 6 multiplied by 8, then we shall have them into bracket all over the log of 4. So all over the log of 4. So the next thing that now we shall do, so let's now take an example whereby we have the log of a multiplied by b. So this one can also be written as the log of a, then plus also the log of b. So here now our a shall now be equals to, so the log of 6, then also now we shall have plus the log of 8, then all over the log of 4. So now we shall have our log of 4. So the next step that now we shall do is now to group them by saying that a is equals to, so the log of 6, so we shall divide both sides by the, the log of 4. So the log of 6 all over the log of 4. Then add to the log of 8 all over the log of 4. Now, so we can also rewrite it by now having a to be equals to the log of 6 all over. So the log of 4 can also be written as the log of 2 to the power of 2. Then plus the log of 8 can also be written as the log of 2 to the power of 3. Then all over the log of 2 to the power of 2. So here now we shall say that a is equals to, so we shall have the log of 6 all over, so this one now we shall write as 2 log 2, then plus the log of 2 to the power of 3 can also be written as 3, the log of 2, then all over 2, the log of 2. So here now we shall have it as a to be equals to, so this one now shall have a half, the log of 6, all over the log of 2, then plus. So this one now shall have 3 all over 2, because log 2 and log 2 shall cancel out. So here now, assume we have the log of A all over the log of B. So this one can also be written as the log of A to the base of B. So the log of A to the base of B. So finally, we can now say that our value for a shall now be equals to a half. So now we shall have a half, the log of 6 to the base of 2 plus 3 over 2. So now this one now shall qualify to be our correct and the right answer. So now we can even circle it. So if you really enjoyed on how we have worked out this math problem, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.